Today I'll be going over the teardown and repair of Nintendo's original Game Boy. I'm Enoch Dew and this is Retro Revive. Today we'll be going over disassembly, what to do if it's not powering on at all, what to do if you have vertical lines missing, and what to do if there's no sound. First thing you need to do is flip it over and remove the battery cover and any batteries if there are inside. There are six tri-wing screws you'll need to remove. Pull apart the two halves slowly and disconnect the ribbon cable by sliding it down. From the back half, unscrew the four Phillips screws and pull the motherboard free with its adjoining boards. You may also remove the battery tabs by using a small pointed object to press down the smaller tabs from the inside of the casing. For the front half, unscrew the 10 Phillips screws and pull the board free. There may be adhesive sticking to the front of the screen, just gently pull it straight out. Take out the buttons and rubber contact pads and there it is all apart. Now if you don't have any power, this is most likely due to the batteries not making proper contact because of dirt or corrosion from battery acid leaking getting in the way. When you have the battery tabs out, scrub them with rubbing alcohol on an old toothbrush. You may need to scrape it off with a metal object if it's caked on too much. Also clean the battery contact points on the motherboard and bend them slightly forward so they'll push up against the batteries. With any luck, you'll be able to flick it right on. When you have missing vertical lines on your screen, it's due to breaks in the wire of the ribbon cable directly below the screen. So what we're going to be doing is using a soldering iron to melt those wires to reconnect those connections. Missing horizontal lines are caused by breaks in the wire and the ribbon cable wrapping around the side and behind of the screen. The problem with this ribbon cable is that it doesn't hold up the heat well and you'll burn it, so there's not really a lot you could do about that. If you have black blotches on the screen, these are leaks of liquid crystal in the display, and the damage is not reversible. So, to fix the vertical lines. With the back half assembled and equipped with batteries, attach the front peripheral board without the casing, and place a non-conductive material between them like cardboard. Turn on the Game Boy and turn up the contrast so you can see what lines are affected. Peel away the rubber strip immediately below the screen on the ribbon cable and it's adhesive. Mine got stuck to the inner casing so I just had to pull off the adhesive. Heat the cable with the soldering iron along where the strip was. Be sure to keep it moving as to not burn the cable, though it's fairly heat resistant. Where the heat will affect roughly correlates to its location on the screen. You may want to replace the rubber strip with a thin line of electrical wire once you're finished to protect it. Now how to fix no sound. Dirt or rust can accumulate inside the headphone jack. This is a problem because when headphone is plugged in, it pulls apart a connection to let the system know to turn off the speaker. As long as something is blocking that connection, like rust or dirt, the speaker will remain off. To test if this is the problem, you can turn it on with a game while it's taken apart like we did for the screen fix and stick in a piece of metal to make contact between them. The sound should come on. Scrape out any rust and grind between them with a sharp metal object and you should be good to go. Let me know if this helped for you or if you have any more Game Boy fixes, let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter or check out my blog post at retrorevive.enicdo.com where I break down all my projects including this one. Check it out.